Now you may have a situation where the outdoor fan motor is running, but the compressor is not running. So there is no refrigerant circulating through the system, so there's no heat transfer. So a quick way to determine that is by feeling these lines right here. And so you could feel a vibration, you could feel a temperature difference, and you could also listen for the compressor. Uh, so that's just quickly before you even pull off the shroud in order to see if that's working. Now you could have a, a bad capacitor where it's only bad on the Herm side of the capacitor and the fan is still good. I've had that happen before. So, you know, that the fan motor's running and, and uh, the compressor is not. Now, just remember, even if the capacitor looks like it's good, like it's, like it's new, it could still be bad. On that, uh, on that one section of the capacitor. So make sure to check that out. You could have another issue like the uh, wires leading to the compressor. Maybe uh, they're burnt apart or open or maybe at the terminals of the compressor or maybe just the compressor is overheated and having a hard time starting up. You could have an issue like copper plating where you have acidity in the lines eating away at the copper molecules and placing them at the hottest part in the whole system, which is the compressor. And it has a hard time starting, you know, with moving those, um, the scroll plate, say in a, in a scroll compressor or a reciprocating compressor where it has the, the pistons moving. So that could be the issue. Uh, you could also have, say, a blown terminal. Uh, so you wouldn't have any pressure at the, the ports right here. So as far as compressor diagnosis, I have a whole other video down in the description section below.